Hey guys, welcome back. So today I was trying to open one of the website and I want to show you what I sh what I see there. Okay, so I have opened Google. In that, there's a website called csearch.org and I got this link from uh, one of the other website. But when I'm trying to open that, I'm not able to get the website. And I got some error message which says your connection is not private. Okay, attackers might be trying to steal your information from this, this blah blah blah. All right, and it says that error cert authority invalid. So, what this error means, it means that there is some certificate associated with this website. If you see, it is HTTPS, it's a secured website. Okay, so that's mean whatever information is there in this website we can interact with that and that should be secured okay and for that there is some certificate which is uh, associated with this website but somehow that certificate is not proper maybe it got expired or maybe something is wrong with the certificate and we cannot continue to open that website on our web page okay and Generally, you have seen these kinds of error message also sometime when you visit some of the secured website and what we do in those kinds of scenario we we'll go to advance and in that we click on proceed with this unsafe website and we are able to open that website. So this is the way we do manually. Okay, but the same issue and same thing can arise when you're doing your automation. So it will not allow you to open the website and your all scripts will get failed. All right. So normally what happens in these kinds of scenario when we are working on a project, we need to let know uh, whoever the developer is of the website that there is some issue with the certificate of the website and they need to update that certificate from their end. It can be certificate at the client side, maybe on some uh, application or uh, they need to update the certificate at the server side. Okay, but for that certificate to get updated, we cannot wait because we have to test all our functionality beside that certificate. So we need to get workaround for that so that we can pass on and we can skip that certificate. Let me just, uh, you know, just remove this again so that we get that error message again. And then we will see how we can get this issue and we can resolve this issue through the automation. Okay. So what we are doing right now, we are trying to find an alternative through which we can click on this and we can proceed with the website for the time being till the time the issue get resolved for the certificate. Okay. So let me open a class. Okay. All right. So if you see in front of my screen, there's a class which I have created, which says accept SSL. So why I am writing this code in advance so that in a small period of a time I can explain you the you know the main content which I want to deliver it to you. So that's the reason I just type you know the small things for example public static void main setting up system properties which we do in every class or every page and then web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and then driver dot get to open this website. So as we know, because this is not a trusted website, so it will always give me error, which is this one. Okay. So what is the workaround which we do for this? So what we need to do, there's just two lines of code which we need to enter. Okay. So let me first write those codes. It's Chrome and it's options. Okay. I can give a variable name here like options equal to new. Chrome options. Okay, so I have created an object which is type the Chrome options. Let me just import this one. All right, so now I have created the object which is of type options. And now what options give me? It gives me the capability through which I can modify the capabilities of my browser. Okay. Let me just uh, type it one more time. It's options dot. See, there are many things, the many methods which you see in my options. All right. If you see, it says get browser name, get capability. But what I want to do, I want to set the capability. Okay. So I will just type 
set capability and here I will type capability type so let me just type it first then I will explain you what do you mean by capability type C A P A B I L I T Y capability and then type dot and it says accept SSL certificate okay and the value would be true okay and there is one more options dot set capability then again capability type dot accept insecure certificate okay so if there is any SSL certificate or is there any insecure certificate I am trying to accept it alright so this is a code and what we do now the line where we have written new Chrome driver here we pass our options simple alright now we'll try to run this so run Java application Now we will see if we get that error or if we are able to bypass that certificate error. Okay, so now you see we are directly opening this website and there is no error which we have got. Alright, now let's try to understand this program. So what we have done here, we have set some options for the Chrome driver. Okay, and if you want to see what those options are and what this class do, just do a control and click on that okay you will get these options here it is extending the mutable capabilities and you will see there are certain options given here okay so what this option class will do if we want to set certain properties for our chrome we can use this option class okay now under this option there is a method called set capability and then I am calling accept SSL certificate. So you can just think of that capability are kind of a properties. Okay. So what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to modify the properties of my Chrome brow browser so that it can accept the SSL certificate and it can accept the insecure certificate. So we will use this capability again one more time when we will make use of a grid and when we do a parallel execution. But for now, just understand it. It is just modifying the property of your browser. So here we are modifying the property capability type dot accept SSL certificate. And if you notice, this is a constant. OK, and if you see, if you want to see the value of this constant, just go into this capability type. And if you're wondering how I can just click and go into that, you just need to download the decompiler on your Eclipse and then you can, you would be able to see these class files. See, it's capability app dot class. So this is an interface capability type. And in this interface, if you see, there are many constants given. Okay. And the one which we have used is one type of constant. Okay, so this is a constant and this is a value. So that's mean this is the value which we need to pass to our method. Okay, so what is doing right now? It is just passing this value to this options method. And if you see this method, it will say set capability and it's calling the, again another method. And after that, if you see, this is the method which is setting the capability of my browser. Okay, let me just go back. So I'm just hitting the alt and the left arrow key so that I can go back. Okay, so you can just try that from your side. So this is the only line of code through which I am modifying the property of my browser and I am able to bypass this SSL and insecure certificate. Okay, so as I said before, just remember, these are just the workarounds. You still have to see the website which you are testing why it does not have a proper certificate. Okay because we you know uh, because we cannot say to a client that you know we are bypassing the certificate we should have a valid reason so that if they are getting that from their side we have to let them know that you know you have to trust the certificate you need to bypass it by going manually and accept that out but at least in automation we can bypass the certificate through this way all right so that's it for this video if you like the video please like it if you dislike it the video please dislike it give your feedback and have a great day thank you